Hi guys, so I'm going to show you how to tape a flag together. And this is for Dennis and Color Guard. I know different guards out there will tape their equipment differently, but for Dennison, um, when you take your flag home and you have to replace any of these steps, this is how to do it. And I like for us to be consistent throughout so definitely don't skip on any of these steps and make sure it's always done like this for Denison. Now, if anybody else out there wants to adopt this way, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that does it this way and I'm pretty sure there's others that might be better than this way, but this works for us, so. Here is what you're going to need. You're obviously going to need your pole a top and bottom stopper, scissors, your silk, um, if you have a six fitter, 36 inches by 54, or if you want it to be longer, that's up to you, and your bolts, uh, your tape, so I always say Scotch brand is probably the best electrical tape, um, it's just last a little bit longer, and definitely better with the heat and as for your weight sizes as you can see I have different sizes here it's three four and five so for my younger kiddos we will do a three on the bottom a four on top and for our high school kiddos or just in, if you're wanting to move up we'll do four and then five uh, inch bolt so you know you can keep getting bigger but that's what we're going to use today so for our silk a rule of thumb is if the silk is light you'll probably want to go with the lighter tape if it's dark darker um in the ideal world the tape would match uh our silks but in this case since this is just a practice silk we're going to use white now me personally, I try, if it's an emergency, yeah, I'll use my teeth, but personally, I would prefer it to be cut with scissors. And I also personally don't like it when we tear. Obviously, if we're in a rush, we're gonna do that. But in this case, since we have time, I'm going to use the scissors. So to start off with, we're gonna be using the four inch and five inch bolt and I'm going to tape the bottom half of the bolt and this is solely just to protect it from clinging against the pole. If um, it gets loose, some people don't like the clinging, some people do. If you do like the clinging, then skip this step. But we at Denison will tape the bottom half this is a little more than half, but we'll tape the bottom half and we're just going to snip it. That way it won't, it won't be as loud as that. It's a little, a little better. And because I'm don't know how much I'm gonna need. I, that's why I have a long strip hanging. That way I know exactly how much I need and I don't end up with too little and then having to randomly tape in the middle. So that's a little hack. And now I have my two bolts taped. So now I'm going to cut four three inch strips about this big. probably could be a little smaller but so now I have four they're about two to two to three inch strips so I'm gonna grab my pole and I'm gonna put it in and I'm going to cross it you're going to if I was to let it go it would fall down to the bottom but I'm gonna tape it in the middle 
like that. And then I'm going to tape it on top and then on the bottom. So I'm gonna try really hard to make sure it stays centered to the pole. So I'm gonna twist it. Um, I wish I could show you, but I'm gonna twist it and I'll go across this way. So I'm gonna put it in the middle. I'm gonna go down and then I'm gonna pull it on the other side, just like that. So now if I rattle it, it does you can't really hear it. Eventually it might start sliding around, but because we taped it, it won't be as loud. <clears throat> so this is the top. I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom. So this is the four inch. I'm gonna put it in the middle. But I have to kind of hold it in place because obviously gravity is going to take it down, tape it up, and then tape it down here, and then just turn it up. For the stoppers, you're going to need four pieces of tape for each one, and about the same size. So like this. And you're gonna take your stopper and then um, you're gonna put one halfway like that. Bring it down the side, bring it down the side. So then from here, you're gonna twist it and you're gonna put one half in the middle. Oh. Just like that. And now I'm gonna bring it down the side bring it down the side and now you're gonna do the corners so it's kind of hard to tell but now I'm gonna go in between those two so every part of the stopper is covered so as you can see I'm gonna put go down that side and down this side and see how see how it's not crazily crazily <laughs> drastically low it's just enough to cover the top of the stopper because we're going to put more tape later. So, and it's easier if you do this with before putting it on the pole, but if you put it on the pole first, that's fine too. The, the point is to make sure you have those four pieces to cover the entire top of your stopper. So now we're gonna put it on. Make sure it's nicely snug on there. With our tape, I want to say we're going to use about this much lengthy piece. This is where, um, well, if we were on the silk portion, you definitely want to go a little more. But about this piece, you're going to start at the bottom, like, um, like right around here on my side, obviously. And I'm gonna start twisting and as I start turning I'm slowly bringing it down and because this electrical tape the brand is scotch it's very easy to maneuver and kind of twist and turn so as I'm going you'll start to see I'm not I'm overlapping it almost halfway and I keep going oh look it looks like I needed more but that's why I didn't cut it off because since I need more, I can just unroll it and it's better just to have a good long piece than a lot of little pieces. So then I'm gonna twist down to the actual pole and now I'm on the pole and then I'm gonna just give it a couple more twists. And right there, once I have it, once it's covered all the way around almost two times, I'm gonna snip it and then I'm just gonna tape it. So now it looks like this, okay? And I and you will make sure you don't see any part of the rubber stopper. All right, so now I'm going to tape the next one.
before I put it on, you're gonna want to put your silk on. And if you're new to guard, remember there's some silks are longer than others. The, there is a right way and a wrong way. So for, for these, practice silk from Band Shop, Shoppy, wherever it has the the little point it kind of goes that's the bottom so you want to put you want to put the bottom in first and then of course some have a tab and that's a 99% of the time where the tab is that's the bottom You can do it of one of two ways. The first one is when you're taping the tape to the bolt, you can add it like this and tape around it, or you can tuck it and then tape it like this, which is what I prefer to do. Um, I don't mind a little bit being out, so it also adheres, so that's what we're gonna do today just a little bit is sticking out not the full big old long tab or thing and it's meeting up just right here you can see so same thing I'm probably gonna need about this much almost the length of my forearm but it might be easier just to hold the bit the main tape that way in case you if you do need more or you don't need that much, you don't have to waste tape. So once again, I'm going to, I'm gonna try to do this reverse so you can see. I'm gonna put it on the edge of the stopper, just like that, and I'm gonna start twisting. Or just grab your tape and twist. And I kind of like make sure I get some pull and silk right there. So that's okay if it's not fully shut. So I'm just taping it around. See, I know I have to get more. And don't cheap out on this section because you need the tape. So there you go. That's probably good. But you also don't want to do too much. I'm going to cut it once again. Oh, they ran away from me. I'm going to cut it. There you go, that's the top. So as you're putting that on, sometimes the silk will twist. See how it's all twisted? And sometimes, if we're new, you'll do the rookie mistake of taping the tab and it's all twisted. So before you're taping the tab portion, make sure to make sure that untwist it and make sure it's nice and straight to where you can run your fingers and you can see the seams and it's not all bunched up. So just make sure you do that before you tape on this part, this portion. And make sure it's nice and, and nice and straight. So same thing on the bottom. I don't want to tape all of this, just a little bit of it. So I'm gonna tuck some of it in and just leave a little bit out and do the same thing. Okay, the last thing to do are your cheaters. So you have your 36 inches and you're gonna put a cheater tape and add a foot in and then the next foot and that's it. It's easy if you have a school floor, it's already, the, every tile is a foot. So you can just line it up with the floor and wherever that line is, that's where you'll put your tape. The tape is about four to five inches long 
and it might be a little much but you can always um, keep going over the other you, like overlap it so this only overlapped about a half which is perfectly fine so once again let me see right here um, it's just taped and I'm just gonna uh, twist it and there you go so you could probably even do like three to four inches of the cheater tape and you should still be fine um, but that way you have your cheaters so that's it that's how you will tape a flag um, this took about no more than 20 minutes I know when I edit this video it will probably be down to like five to eight minutes but in real time once you get good at it, if you're really fast, you could do it as quickly as in 10 minutes or 15 minutes, but definitely should not take over 20 minutes. Um, practice, practice, what? <laughs> practice makes perfect. Um, but like I said, once, if your school does it differently, follow what they say, but for Denison Color Guard, this is how we're gonna tape our flag and of course um, over time tape will get old so once it's old or you start seeing the stopper it's time to replace it if the stopper is damaged and cut in any way time to replace the stopper because you don't want to do a toss and then your bolt goes out flying I've seen it thank the Lord it's never hit anybody but um, tape isn't uh, good forever so but like I said if you use the scotch brand it will last longer than the generic one dollar roll so it pays to use the I think these are what three to four bucks but it's a bit pricier but it will last you so thanks for watching my video now get to taping